Hey everyone, happy Thursday, July 1st. Uh, nice way to start the month of July, plus 2,434 on the day. Let's go through these, I'll show you what we did. Uh, two Mighty 90s, one in Boeing for 624, one in Tesla for 100. I uh, did a pairs trade in the Dow versus the NASDAQ, uh, book 205 on that. And then on the runners, uh, three trades, AMC, my first trade of the day, loser minus 390, Amazon plus 740, and my biggest winner, Roblox plus 11.55. So let's take a look at these, show you what we did. Uh, let's start with the mighty 90s. Let's go to Boeing. So in Boeing, we had this uh, initial push up early in the morning, got a nice pop in volume, got short right here and caught this little flush down for plus 6.24. In Tesla, go in the opposite direction. Uh, took a long position, so Tesla was flushing down, got a pop in volume, uh, got long right here, and just caught this little bounce, got out, got out after two two green bars, a so small winner, plus 100. Uh, also did a pairs trade in NASDAQ versus Dow, just to show you what I'm looking at here. Uh, Dow had been staying relatively strong all day, trading above uh, yesterday's high. Uh, the NASDAQ had a nice flush uh, kind of mid-morning, and, and started to bounce. So when it was bouncing up towards yesterday's low, I was thinking about either taking a downside runner and just getting short NASDAQ futures here. And I thought, yeah, I'm actually gonna go with the regular size futures, but I'm gonna hedge it with the Dow. So I was long Dow. So I was looking for Dow to kind of stay steady to higher. And I was looking for the NASDAQ to fall over. And, and that's what happened. Uh, NASDAQ, uh, Dow just kind of chopped around and NASDAQ rolled over and I just booked a profit. I was. I, I was kind of done watching it. You know, if I do the micros, don't necessarily have to babysit it as much, but with the uh, full size futures, that PL was still fluctuating quite a bit, even though I was quote unquote hedged with the Dow. So just took a $205 profit out of that one. That was my last trade of the day. So I was done. And then on the runners, uh, let's go to AMC. This was actually my first trade of the day. Uh, I had this initial, initial push up and massive volume. So it started to pull back. I thought we'd get a continuation higher, uh, but AMC just fell apart. And so I just ended up cutting out quickly, took a loss of 390, which based on the position size is a bigger loss than I really wanted to take, but uh, still was able to cut it off pretty good. Uh, my two biggest winners, Amazon, took a nice downside runner in Amazon. After the market started getting weak, Amazon broke through the lows of the day. When it bounced up to unchanged, I got short right here. Cut a little heat. Uh, for about five minutes and then finally rolled over, took off half here and then let, let this thing run, took off my last half down there for plus 740. And then my biggest winner, Roblox. Roblox had a nice little downside run for me. Uh, had this nice massive sp spike in volume when it bounced, got short right here. Actually, I got short about right here and it kept bouncing, so I added right here. Uh, rolled over, took some off kind of chopped around and kind of just bled lower, bled lower, took off uh, some here. And then my last piece on this flush here, uh, took off my last piece for plus 1,155. So nice day of trading, nice way to start July, plus 2,434 on the day uh, on a little bit of a win streak here. I think that's four or five days in a row. So hope to keep that going. We'll be streaming live tomorrow, Friday. Uh, and then next week as well. We will be off on Monday in observance of July 4th, Independence Day. Uh, but otherwise, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday next week, we will be streaming live as well. See you then.